Hello, today we are looking at this Smena 8 Soviet uh, camera. It's a fully manual camera. What does it mean? You have to roll the film yourself. You have to set everything like the shutter speed, the aperture, the focus distance, everything yourself. And then when you're done with the film, rewind it back. So uh, this is a 35 millimeter camera uh, with a triplet lens uh, T43 f/40. That means f the maximum aperture and 40 the focal length. I don't know if you can see because it's kind of tiny written here on the front of the lens. So after you. After you've loaded the film, you should uh, shoot twice to roll that uh, exposed film and uh, get the, the unexposed uh, first position out. So rewind under, until it's, it's uh, one, uh, one position up front, press, presses the shutter cock lever, release. Again, repeat this twice. Press, shut. So how to shoot now? So first, let's say uh, you need a uh, aperture of 5.6. You you go here to the front of the lens, and you you set this aperture manually to 5.6. Then uh, you need to to use an uh, light sensor application to, to detect the light. So you can use this uh, app, <coughs> the light meter, it's a free application. And let's say you've chosen a uh, 200 ISO uh, value. You set your aperture to 5.6. The light meter will tell you here in EVs how much light you have and um, what shutter speed here you need for that uh, ISO value and aperture value depending on this light. Uh, so let's see. Now this aperture here on the other part of it uh, has some numbers. So for example, for 5.6, there is a value of 5. You will use that in uh, calculating the uh, needed light, 5 EV, for example. And uh, let's say your uh, light meter says you have uh, 14 EVs. So you deduct from 14 this value 5 here right, which is um, set for 5.6 aperture, you see it on the other side here, and if you deduct from 14, 5, you will uh, get a value of 9. Then you go here to the shutter speed, and you will look for a 9, so actually uh, 8 is maximum here, for the value of uh, 1 over 250 of a second. That's how you calculate, uh, depending on the available light, uh, what shutter speed you need for a certain aperture, or the other way, what aperture do you need to, to use a uh, certain shutter speed. Then you need to, to focus the, the length, on, uh, depending on um, how far away uh, your subject is. So, uh, let's say your subject is 4 meters from you, you set it like here, and you can also use this thing to calculate how much depth of field you have. So, for example, if you have 5.6 here, you look on this scale from 5.6 to 5.6, right, for this 
distance for the, your subject and you will see that at uh, 5.6 you have uh, in focus from uh, let's see 2.5 at about 11 meters you see those values on the on the lens so now you know your your depth of field for your uh, set aperture now cock use the cocker uh, cock lever press the shutter button right so now let's look how to do long exposures so you should set the uh, shutter speed to B that's bulb bulb mode and we can see it right here B bulb okay now press the uh, shutter cock lever okay press and hold the shutter release button until the desired time, the desired exposure is acquired. Then release it. That's all. And uh, now uh, let's look also on the self timer. So <coughs> set the shutter, of course, set everything, set the aperture and the shutter. Now <coughs> press the shutter cock lever, press the self timer and also the release button and now uh, release the, the self timer. So in about 10 seconds it will fire. That's it. Simple, nice and clean. It also has a uh, hot shoe for flash and a flash shutter if you want to, to use that. Remember, after each photo, you want uh, the next position on the film. Now, after if you've loaded the film, you should you should set um, the ISO settings so that you remember. You see, you have a red dot here on this side. It's pretty tiny. So you you should set the the ISO so you remember the value you the film you have inside. And now, uh, before starting, you should. You should set this. Uh, it's really stuck. You should set. Uh, so you say. Let's uh, say you have a film of 35 position inside. You set this to 35. Let's see. To to remember uh, how many positions you have left. After each photo you've taken, you just go to the next position, and you should set this to. 35 now so you always remember how many shots left you have <clears throat> when you finished uh, shooting uh, all your photos to to get out the the film you need to press this button and switch it this way you see switch now you should uh, take out this knob here but just a little, not uh, all the way, uh, so it, it doesn't uh, get out uh, too, too much. And now you, you see you have an arrow here which uh, tells you which way to, to roll the film. And you roll it until uh, you get to the last position. You will notice that it, it, um, it gets loose when, when it's finished. So all the film will be will be back in, and after that, you can remove the the film right from the camera. 
make sure when you put the film inside say you say you you've got yourself the film you you have an empty coil like this to put the film on you'll put the film here and uh, wind it here for taking photos don't you uh, forget use the viewfinder it's pretty tiny pretty small and from what I've noticed it the, you don't see the, the 100 percent of your uh, photos through it because you literally would have to to uh, stick your eye to it to to see the whole 40 millimeters uh, of this uh, lens so i think yeah this is all hope you enjoyed it till next time bye bye